okay, we've done a little bit of groundwork, a little bit of eval work, filled up a couple of holes. Got him loose to things. And now we're going to go ahead and use the saddle blanket here a little bit, do a little desensitizing with the saddle blanket. Now I do this too, just like everything else. I want to still maintain my position as the herd leader. So all I want him to do is follow me as the herd leader and accept this saddle blanket and see it, but understand that I'm the one that's the herd leader in between this saddle blanket and him. And I'm going to make sure that this doesn't hurt him and he can get used to it and figure it out. And just let his curiosity and confidence build rather than getting him back in his fractious frame of mind to where he's got to feel the need to escape or react rather than looking for that support to keep things going. Now I know that they've, the owner said that he's been saddled, so I assume that they've had a saddle blanket on him one time and maybe set the saddle on his back, but whether it was cinched up or not, or whether he moved around with it or not, I don't know. So we're gonna go about it like this is the first time he's ever seen this saddle blanket. Just going to rub it down his sides here. Make sure that he can handle just the rubbing. A little bit of socking out with the saddle pad. I'll we'll come over here to the other side and do the same thing. See, somebody's put it up on his back, but nobody's patted on it a little bit. Made that sound. Pretty good. Now with this saddle, I'm going to do the same thing basically, but I'm going to keep all the rigging up so I can just kind of set it on his back and let him get a feel for a little more weight. I'm not going to do up the cinches today. I just wanted to see that saddle up there, feel the saddle go up. And get him to figure out what it is. I'll take him into me just a little bit here.
Now, we're going to go to the other side and try the same thing. But you can imagine, you know, most people don't do a whole lot of day-to-day -day work on the left-hand side of their horses, or on the right-hand side of their horses, because they always lead from the left and saddle from the left and get on and off from the left, and the horse builds up a tolerable appreciation for somebody on the left-hand side. But it's not always the case on the right-hand side when you go to do something. Because it's a different side of their thinking, a different side of their brain, a different set of reactions and tools that they have to deal with things over here on this side. Sometimes that works to your advantage because it's kind of a clean slate and nobody's messed it up yet. But sometimes it's a little more difficult too on this side because especially with a, a kind of a fractious horse already that's got the basics of dealing with people on the left hand side but they're still pretty fractious and they go and you go to the other side and you go to the other side and they're like oh Christ what the hell's that so right now that is pretty much all I wanted to accomplish today with her or with him Man, I can't keep my name straight or the breed straight or the anything but we're gonna work again here on the fly spray because the flies are really starting to come out so I'm going to give him another shot here so that he can stay in the, in the round pen here and eat a little grass and relax. What time do we have? Okay. That was better. All right, the last thing I want to do today is trying to work him on a little bit of rail work and see if I can get him to go between me and the rail and set up alongside the rail so I can start getting above him a little bit and get him used to seeing me above him. And I also want to start teaching them that this rail is usually where I stop and make this a good place for him to be at the end of the lesson so that he can get relaxed with me being up here on the rail. He can get used to things being above him, especially me when I go to get on him for the first time. today it's not critical that he stays exactly where I want him it's about just getting him up here and getting him comfortable with me being up here above him being able to rub down the side of him rub on his back put a little pressure on his back and be able to turn loose and relax a little bit while I'm moving around up here doing what I need to do to get him set up how I want it. We can work on the particulars of getting in parallel with the fence as we go. Oh, that's even really better. He did it himself.
work a little bit on his movement of listening to my reins, getting him to shift around a little bit if I can. Be a lot. Just follow the directions. There we go. Good, good lesson today. Progress from yesterday. <clears throat> a little more settled today, a little more willing, a little more laid back and confident in his abilities too, so. Not such a bad day. See you later.